Well, I guess what inspired it first was um, that just myself and other of my friends and acquaintances had been having like a hard time getting services at the health center and it wasn't because of like the people that work there or anything like that it's just like limited resources um, so I did some research on um, how the health center worked and I talked to Helen and I talked to Aaron Fetro and kind of figured out that the best thing for a health center would be a full-time physician's assistant The community center has made a unanimous decision uh, through a union process to approve in principle the uh, proposal to have a full-time PA for the student health center. That, that was something that would really make things more accessible to students. So um, it was hard to at first to like figure out how to let other students know about this and then um, Alex Knox actually was the one who suggested to me to bring a proposal to Senate. In light of the situation that we have which is uh, a lack of services, so to speak, uh, basic services, um, uh, sexual reproductive health services, um, even doing splints in uh, the student health service uh, center is lacking. Um, and Meredith Luby, a student who approached me, actually after she tried to attain some of these services um, as a friend and as someone on Senate uh, she asked me if I would help her through this process and uh, as an exceptional, uh, exceptional student uh, she wasn't showing the initiative to bringing this uh, issue to our attention and uh, also you know working with us to lay down the groundwork of kind of learning the details of the issue. What are the dollars and cents of what it would take uh, to expand services? Even though Senate couldn't give me the money for this, obviously, um, that this is that was like a forum for students. So I brought a proposal to Senate just stating why I thought we needed a full-time physician's assistant and Senate was going to vote to endorse it or not endorse it and they ended up endorsing it unanimously. Because we didn't know right away that uh, we needed a full-time PA. I mean, that's been part of the discussion before. And, uh, you know, we thought, oh, maybe it's just a luxury. Maybe the school's going without it because we don't necessarily need one. Maybe just a part-time is good enough. Well, when we really looked at it, and we looked at the bang for the buck in terms of what the extra you know, $70,000 it would cost the school, um, it actually kind of became a question right then and there, you know, uh, is it even worth having a student health center without a full-time PA? So from that point, uh, we had a very strong argument. Aaron Fetro had his full support, of course. Um, and, of course, had the full support of the student health center itself. Um, we brought the proposal to the community senate several weeks ago. And um, after a week of kind of deciding, deliberating, and you know, sharing with students, so uh, we came to a, a very good, solid, uh, efficient uh, solution.